I gotta be honest. I didn't expect this. Um, initially, it was a close game, and then it turned to a blowout. First quarter, it was a back and forth, and OKC had a two nothing, uh, not two nothing, um, two point advantage heading into the second. And the Heat since then took over. Um, we're gonna go to the box score. As we're gonna start with Oklahoma City Thunder, so finally I can tell you, I can talk about the Heat as a home side. This one. Um, we're gonna start with OKC Thunder. Uh, Kelly with just two points uh, with the field goal with five rebounds and two blocks. Jones with eleven points, four for fourteen in field goals. 0 for 6 and 3 pointers, 3 for 5 and free throws. So uh, just off, pretty off off night for Jones to, uh, with 0 for 6. Um, but he does have 6 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal. Johnson with just 4 points with 2 for 5 field goals with 6 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals, and a and, uh, block. Mitchell, uh, they're one of their best players at that game, 21 points. 8 for 14 field goals, 1 three-pointer, 4 for 4 in free throws, 2 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal on the block. And Flogler uh, with 20 points with 4 three-pointers out of 11. 7 for 16 in field goals, 2 for 2 in free throws with 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Um, then now the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. Kalauer with 11 points with a three-pointer. He has made, he made 2 two. Two games, two straight games with the three-pointer. Awesome. Five for 12 in field goals. He did miss them one and one opportunity. He has 12 rebounds. There you go. That's a double-double right there. Where um, One assist, one steal on the block. Kasha Johnson with 11 points with three for eight field goals. One for two in three-pointers. Four for four in um, free throws with seven rebounds, one steal on the block. Powell Larson with nine points with three field goals, three for three in free throws with three rebounds, two assists, and two steals. Not bad. Zion Poland with six points with two for four in field goals, uh, two for two in free throws with two rebounds, two assists, and the block. Jaime Hakas Jr. still having himself an amazing, amazing time. Second game back with the Summer League. Scoring 23 points with 8 for 13 in field goals. He is shooting 3-pointers. 4 for 5 in free throws with 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 steals. Off the bench, I mean, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about this player. Josh Christopher has scored 23 points. 20 of those points came in the 4th quarter alone. In that 4th quarter, he has... Slam dunk with his hand from the hook side, slams it home, and he is shooting buckets after buckets after buckets on a posterizing dunk and another three pointer. And one of those three pointers that he had made is a shot clock buzz beater from that corner. He had to put it up somehow because the clock was going to hit zero. And that shot somehow, some way, make it in. He is six for eight in three pointers. Josh Christopher, eight for eleven in field goals, plus the end one. He made that at one with three rebounds, two assists, one steal. Christopher came out of nowhere. I he wants he's proven something um, with the summer league, folks. I mean, geez, that fourth quarter, that kind of game in the fourth quarter. Ultimately, salt sealed the game, pretty much. Posterizing the Thunder defender, I mean, jeez, that's I I he I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that, and he and and he's loving it too. Had that lux of the players like this. Um, he was, you know, yeah. I, I would I would say he was kind of. <laughs> Kind of a disrespect against OKC players. Um, I saw that it was kind of it was kind of messed up, but funny. Um, but you know what? Uh, Josh Christopher definitely proved that he's still a great player 
and he is a great player, and he did that in the fourth freaking quarter alone. 20 points in that fourth quarter alone. Jeez. I mean, you need you have to prove something to make it bad to the NBA when you have that kind of sh shooting. As well as Jaime Hatcast. And this team, this might be the best summer league team in the Heat history. They have a support like no other in uh, summer league. They are giving the basketball to the tall players, constantly giving them the alley oop, especially with Galaware, uh, Josh Christopher, Shaw Johnson. They are jumping up and then putting it into the rim each and every time. And it's awesome to see. It really is awesome to see that. So, what was a close game, and it became a blowout. And, and um, the Heat definitely earned this victory in Las Vegas. So, really not much say, really nothing else to say about this one other than the Heat dominated, especially late in the game, and especially in the fourth quarter. And really, think you could thank one and two men to do this. I'm a head cast, and especially Josh Christopher. When we look at the team stats, um, 36 out of 74 shots, a field goal from Miami Heat, that's 48.6%. 27 out of 76 for the Oklahoma City Thunder, that is 35.5. The Miami Heat, absolutely amazing three-point shooting, and we can thank that one player. I'll say it again, Jaime Hackass. Well, that's, okay, two players. Jaime Hackass and... Josh Christopher, especially in the fourth quarter. 50% with 16 to 32 three point shooting. Only seven three pointers were made from OKC Thunder out of 33 with 21.2%. Free throws, um, considering that OKC shot less, they have a higher three free throw percentage with 85.7. The Heat, 14 to 19 with 73.7. The Heat had more rebounds than the Thunder does with 42 to 39. Um, the Heat definitely had more assists than the Thunder does, which which I already explained with the alley-oops um, and the throwdowns. Steals, two more steals than the Thunder does with eight. Uh, blocks, okay, OKC has two more blocks than the Heat does with five. And no technical fouls, no nothing like that. Um, there were definitely... There were definitely I think there was one instance where I think they got, uh, where it looked like I was going to get heated, but nothing crazy. Um, but anyway, um, there was that, and again, there was that disrespect that happened in the fourth quarter. That was, that was something else. But either way, um, the Heat dominated the fourth quarter. Um, and we move on to the next game, which I'm going to take a look when is the next game. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe it's on a Wednesday. Yes, it is. Against the Dallas Mavericks um, on Wednesday, 3 o'clock p.m. on ESPN2. So ESPN2 on 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And that's going to pretty much do with this one, folks. Um, nothing, nothing long, nothing crazy like that. Anyway, there you go. That's going to do it for this one. If you like this video... Hit the like button and subscribe for more content because Miami TVG is back. And what he does, he'll be right there with you for your entertainment. You deserve it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to do a Miami Marlins uh, draft recap um, because that is we're going we're gonna to have to talk about the draft. Um, but yeah, folks, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody. And go Heat.